welcome back to Bros Ride Bikes. We are rolling out to Laverne Grand Prix. We are doing the Cat 5 Novice Race and we are doing it with Eli, Swalto, Dano and myself. It's gonna be a great time. Doing it with Dino, yeah. and that's super exciting. You're the sprinter, right? Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to hang on, try to keep you guys in the mix too. Work as a team, right? That's what I'm excited about. That's why I signed up. The course has a little uphill. I'm not excited about that. Bigger guys go a little slower on the uphill. Gravity doesn't help us, but uh, I'm ready to ride with you guys and ride as hard as I can. Salto, so what are your goals for this race? Man, always stay upright. That's number one. Have some fun. Give him the berries, as the vegan cyclist said. <laughs> Give him the berries. We made it to the Laverne race. The race is 30 minutes. And right now, we're trying to warm up. For the last, the finish straight is a solid headwind. But everything else is tailwind, crosswind. Can't wait to do it with Dane. I'm super excited. But there's one corner that's a little sketch. And it's like a, the sewage dip. It dips, then comes back with a kind of big bump. So I'm gonna take a little easy on that turn. Be a little careful and try not to crash. Try not to crash, crash, crash. Can't wait. Let's go. At the start of the Laverne race, we're redoing the Cat 5 Novice. And the start is kind of fast. Me and Jack are like the top five guys at the front. Then this guy on the left, he rolls off the front but then we'll eventually catch him and bring him back. Once this guy gets caught, another huge attack goes because it slows down. Zach Martinez at Velosport Jr. does a little chasing and a little breakaway gets formed, but it almost immediately gets brought back. A few laps later, there's a new breakaway of like seven to eight guys. So, and it's looking pretty thin threatening so Swalto gets to the front he's like no I'm not doing how letting this go so he does a massive pull to try and bring it back unfortunately he did not bring it back so it's still up the road and he does another huge pull to try and bridge but everyone jumps on his wheel so now he's just trying to connect everyone and he was insane it was a huge pull but then he burned out and he had to quit the race. Right here, I'm doing a little pull, trying not to burn too much energy. So then I slot back in. Dano is sitting in. He was, we are supposed to lead him out, but right here, everybody's trying to chase this back and I'm yelling at Jack, Dane made the break, Dane made the break, and he's up there. Dane made the break. You did? Yeah. Eli Boy was chasing a, another little break right here back and then he, once that's back, he moves up on the inside in the gutter, which is pretty dangerous, but thankfully he made it out safely. And then I start talking with Dane, asking him how he's feeling and if he thinks he can still do the lead out. How are you feeling? Tired. I thought there was a sprint lap. Oh, I don't know if it was or not. Is Swalter still in? Nope. Three laps left. He got dropped. He's on the final on this one. It's three laps left until you win. I know. One lap to go. Eli and I will try and get you as best as we can. Dana, let's move up. Let's move up. Trying to get Dano to move up with me, but I got pretty great position. Right there in the rear cam, there was a crash, and everyone just starts like going pretty hard to try and drop people who got caught up in it. Feel like you're behind me. I'm leading you out. So Jack was supposed to lead me out, but he moves up and I can't stay with him. But right here, I'm just trying to get back on his wheel. How did this crash happen guys so the green socks 
who is in the front swerves over and it makes white socks uh, swerve with him and rainbow socks was overlapping wheels so he goes down and takes me and a go fast rider down and Eli he just like goes full on into me and it was just like five of us that crashed overall it wasn't too bad of a crash but it was scary right after the crash Dano rolls in and he's like, we gotta finish the race, we're gonna finish the race. And we're like, okay, we can finish the race. Then he's at the end of like the last corner, he's like, we're gonna sprint for the fans. So we sprint across the finish line. You guys good? Thanks to me. Good thing you're uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hot Cooper MD. Hey, how you doing? What's good up? To see you. Good to see How's the race? Crash. You had a pretty good position for the first half of that race. I was watching. I like that shirt. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know where I got it. <laughs> we earned it with blood and tears. <laughs> well, good luck on the race today. Thanks so much, man. Good to see you guys. Look at you fighting through like a champ. Trying. That's right. Nobody keeps you guys down. Yeah. It was great to watch you guys race, man. You were Thank so you. strong. Yeah. Big fans, 20 seconds, that's a very smart oh. depth. Tell me how it was out there because it looked kind of gnarly, a very technical course. And Bros Red Bikes were swinging above their weight class today. How the legs feeling? Uh, pretty good. Just, we crashed over there, we and Jack. You know, that's part, the unfortunate part of bike racing is, is uh, you know, falling down. But if you go down seven times, you get up on the eighth time. That's really what it's about. And Jack, tell me, man, what is next for you guys? And, and how cool is it that you're wearing Rafa today? It felt so good, especially on the hot and the uphills. Just feels like a cloud. It's incredible. And I think our next race, we're going to do the tour to Big Bear. So... We're gonna do the 70 mile one up there. Good luck to both of you all. Good luck to the family. The coefficient of brotherhood is strong. Thank you so much. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. We're just checking Eli over after the crash. He's pretty scraped up. Uh, Eli, where all are you scraped? I got my uh, elbow. shoulder. Yeah, elbow. And then I got my knee right there. Knee. And I got my shoulder. The just. jersey is all ripped right there right there too got my shoulder right there oh right there probably under your bib too i got one right here too yeah so but you know that's bike racing from that crash right here I, it dented but it was good thing it was an aluminum bike it would have cracked with carbon but i'm fine and Let's keep racing. Alrighty guys, we just finished the Cat 5 race. As y'all saw in the footage, I crashed. So did Eli. And I'm not hurt too badly, just a little scraping on my arm. And I, something hit my quad. But other than that, I'm pretty clean. Dane, what happened for you? Yeah, so on the uh, second to the last lap, we were going up a hill and there was a crash with three. And I was just kind of behind them. So I actually had to like hop up the curb on the median kind of had to unclip from the bike and then get back on. I was behind you for the crash, uh, crash and we were doing pretty good. We were in pretty good position. Super frustrating though, cause like Eli and I were feeling good. We were gonna attack. We were perfect position, but it's just super frustrating. We're pretty disappointed, but that's okay. We'll hit it again in the next race. As always, you know it, Bros Ride Bikes. bikes.